All right, here's one for you. Maundy Thursday. Right? It's always confused me too. Mostly because it sounds like any other day of the week, right? Maundy, Thursday, Friday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Maundy, Maundy, can trust that day, right? No, no mamas and the papas fans out there? All right, well, I'll just move right on. Uh, Maundy Thursday, uh, in other parts of the world, it may be known as Covenant Thursday, uh, Sheer Thursday, Thursday before Easter, which it is, uh, Thursday of Mysteries. Ooh, that one sounds mysterious. Uh, so what's it all about, huh? Well, we are talking about Maundy Thursday on this episode of Chuck Knows Church. If we're to understand Maundy Thursday, we should start with the term Maundy. Now the English word Maundy comes from the Latin mandatum, meaning commandment. Now on the last night with his disciples, Jesus is about to confront his betrayal and arrest as he shares the Lord's Supper, also commonly referred to as the Last Supper. Uh, according to John's Gospel, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples in an act of servitude, then said to them, chapter 13, verse 34, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. A new commandment, hence the Maundy of Maundy Thursday. Now, Maundy Thursday is uh, also another name for Holy Thursday or uh, any of the earlier names that I mentioned. Uh, all refer to the first of the three days of solemn remembrance of the events leading up to and immediately following the crucifixion of Jesus. But of all the names, referring to this day of remembrance as Maundy Thursday accentuates the new commandment from Jesus. And even though John's Gospel does not include the Lord's Supper among the events of that last night, the other Gospels do. So, in addition to Holy Communion, Maundy Thursday services commonly include acts of physical care and servitude, like foot washing, uh, as an important part of the remembrance. There you go. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Maundy Thursday, be sure to ask your pastor. Tell them Chuck sent you. <laughs>